Generation Y, aka Millennials, or Echo Boomers, were those born between the years of 1982 to 1994, being teens in the years 1997 to 2009. These teens faced a number of economic problems, but also had much to offer past and future generations. Influential persons of the time included Barack Obama, the Democratic candidate for the 2008 election. An African American, Obama was very anti-war and wanted to enact budget cuts, painting a bright future for Generation Y. The attack on the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001 continued to be an influential event in the minds and lives of Generation Y, being the spark of the beginning of the War on Terror. The tsunami in Thailand on December 26, 2004, and following on its heels, Hurricane Katrina in August of 2005, was the impetus of relief efforts from and for millions of Americans. Many of Generation Y's teens traveled to the site of Katrina to help rebuild the disaster area. While many teens of the early 2000s remained pious, the role of religion had seemed to diminish in their daily lives. A new way of thinking had taken over a large percentage, one that involved a live-in-the-moment, more accepting of fantasy manner. In the 2000s, media stressed a tolerant and think-for-yourself mentality, while in the 1970s, this wasn't a large part of daily teaching. Celebrity actors of the time included Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom, Angelina Jolie, and Brad Pitt, Daniel Radcliffe, Ben Stiller, and John Cusack. The teenagers of Generation Y greatly admired these and other celebrities. Unfortunately, there were several instances where celebrities abused their position by glamorizing detrimental issues such as teen pregnancy. Jamie Lynn Spears is an accurate example of this, as well as movies such as Juno and series such as Secret Life of the American Teenager. In the early years of Generation Y, Walkmans were the primary form of portable music, along with tape players and boomboxes. But as the years progressed, iPods and Zunes appeared on the music scene, creating a whole new era of accessories and competition. Influential writers of the time included Sarah Dessen, J.K. Rowling, and Stephanie Meyer. Sarah Dessen wrote books such as Dreamland and The Truth About Forever, which dealt with the everyday pressures female teens face. J.K. Rowling, the writer of the famous Harry Potter series, influenced many people to believe they were in fact wizards. Stephanie Meyer brought vampires to life with her Twilight series. A main concern of Generation Y was the ridiculously high price of gasoline. Teens on the verge of getting their licenses and first cars were plagued with the thought of only being able to afford to drive when necessary instead of taking the joy rides that are so common with new drivers. Pollution was also a huge problem, first and foremost global warming. There was also a problem of family breakdowns, which became evident in rising divorce rates. OMG, LOL, my BFF Jill and I were totally raffling when we realized you were JKing. A sentence like this was actually quite common to teenage girls of Generation Y. Common three or four word phrases were often shortened to acronyms such as Oh my gosh to OMG and laugh out loud to LOL in order to quickly type out a message over phone or instant messenger. Text messaging and instant messaging services such as AIM and Yahoo were among the most common forms of quick communication. Text messaging was done via cell phone by typing 160 character messages to another mobile. Instant messaging, quite different, was done on a computer through personalized screen names and took a few seconds less than text messaging. However, both used the same shortened dialect. Other forms of messaging included MySpace and Facebook, on which teens created a personalized profile and were able to leave comments on another person's page. In conclusion, Generation Y differed greatly from previous generations in terms of where they stood on technology, influential figures, pollution, and language.